Welcome to the Jewelers Journal, a Roberts & Co podcast where we unravel the world of gemstones, precious metals, jewellery design and craftsmanship. I'm your host Barry Roberts, inviting you to step into our world, one where every piece tells a story. Whether you're a jewellery aficionado, a passionate collector or simply curious about the sparkle behind our creations, we're glad to have you here. So let's delve into the fascinating stories and intricate details behind our stunning collections and learn about the extraordinary craft of jewellery making. So sit back, relax and let's start our journey into the mesmerising world of the jeweller here at Robertson Co. And today we're discussing the shift to graphite ingot moulds in jewellery making. In the initial phases of crafting precious metal ingots for jewellery making at Robertson Co, we faced a recurring and disheartening challenge. Many times we found that small fragments of the pieces or sometimes entire melts were plagued with porosity and cracking when they were rolled out into sheet or drawn into wires. These imperfections threaten the quality and elegance we aim to embody in each crafted piece. Undeterred by these setbacks, we resolved to find a solution that would allow us to uphold the standards of excellence the Robertson Co. is known for. We hypothesized that the root of these imperfections lay hidden within our melting process. This sparked the beginning of a series of rigorous experiments where we fine-tuned various elements in a relentless pursuit of achieving the perfect wire and sheet. Our investigative journey led us to explore the potential of graphite ingot moulds, opening doors to new possibilities and solutions. This was a pivotal moment where tradition met innovation, guiding us into a new era of jewellery making where quality and finesse were no longer compromised. The art of crafting intricate pieces of jewellery has a rich history that spans several centuries. At the heart of this ancient craft is the utilisation of ingot moulds, tools instrumental in shaping precious metals into beautiful works of art. Traditionally, these moulds were fabricated from materials such as cast iron or steel, renowned for their durability and heat retention properties. These moulds have been a reliable companion for artists, aiding in creating uniform, consistent and quality ingots that form the basis of exquisite jewellery pieces. In recent years, the jewellery making sector has witnessed a paradigm shift, steering away from conventional ingot moulds and embracing more modern alternatives. One such notable transition is the adoption of graphite as a preferred material for ingot moulds. This change stems from the continuous endeavours of jewellers to streamline processes and enhance the quality of their craftsmanship. Graphite ingot moulds praised for their quick heat up times and thermal stability have proven to be a game changer in the industry. Despite facing initial scepticism, these moulds have gradually gained acceptance, revolutionising the dynamics of jewellery making by blending innovation with tradition. This evolution signifies the industry's relentless pursuit of excellence, a journey of adapting and growing with changing times. The voyage into the realm of graphite ingot moulds marked a significant milestone in our journey through the intricate world of jewellery making. A few years ago we embarked on this path with an open mind and a relentless spirit, ready to explore the untapped potential of graphite moulds. It was a journey propelled by a quest for innovation where we sought tools and methods that not only enhanced our craft but also optimised our process, aligning them with the evolving dynamics of the modern jewellery making world. Embarking on this journey to explore graphite ingot moulds was met with a mixed response within the jewellery making industry. Our initial foray into this territory was marked with uncertainty as a substantial portion of the available data seemed more applicable to bullion bar production than to the complex alloys we work with daily. The initial ambiguity fueled by conflicting opinions from so-called experts left us with more questions than answers. Yet through perseverance we managed to carve out our path, navigating through the noise to uncover the genuine potential of graphite ingot moulds. At Robertson Co, our journey with graphite moulds has been nothing short of transformative. From initial hesitation to a growing appreciation, we have seen firsthand the benefits these moulds bring to our crafting process. Their rapid heat up times and exceptional thermal stability have not only enhanced the quality of our products but also significantly reduced energy consumption. Despite the challenges, our continued experimentation and learning have shown that graphite moulds hold a special place in the modern jeweller's toolkit, offering a fine balance between innovation and tradition. Our journey wasn't devoid of hurdles. We encountered several myths and misconceptions surrounding the use of graphite ingot moulds. From concerns about their durability to debates about the efficiency in jewellery making, we faced a multitude of questions. 
but through trials and evaluations, we've managed to address these concerns systematically. Our experience has shown that while graphite moulds have their set of challenges, their benefits significantly outweigh the drawbacks. By sharing our insights and learnings, we hope to dispel the myths surrounding graphite moulds, ushering in a new era of informed and innovative jewellery making. In the intricate art of jewellery making, the choice of ingot moulds can significantly influence the outcome. Whether you're a seasoned jeweller or just starting, understanding the nuances of various ingot moulds can be a game changer. So let's delve deeper into the world of ingot moulds, exploring different materials, styles and sizes to guide you in making an informed decision. So, materials utilised in ingot moulds are cast iron. The pros are durability and long lasting, reliability and affordable compared to other materials, and they can withstand high materials. The cons of cast iron are it's prone to rust and corrosion, requires regular maintenance and can sometimes result in rough finishes. Another material available is machine steel ingot moulds, and the pros of these are they offer smooth surfaces for a refined finish, they're resistant to wear and tear, and ideal for high precision jewellery making. The cons of machine steel ingot moulds are higher costs compared with other materials, and they can be heavy and cumbersome to use. They also require specialised maintenance. And then we have graphite ingot moulds. The pros of graphite ingot moulds are they provide excellent thermal stability, they allow for a smoother release of ingots, and they're environmentally friendly as they don't oxidise. The cons of graphite ingot moulds are they wear down more quickly than metal moulds, they're more fragile and prone to breaking if not handled carefully, and they might require a learning curve for those accustomed to traditional materials. And then we have the different styles of ingot moulds. Open moulds are available and the pros of open moulds are they're easier to use, especially for beginners. They allow for quick and easy removal of ingots. They facilitate better monitoring of the molten metal. The cons of open moulds are they offer less control over precise shape of the ingots. They can result in more waste due to spilling and they are less efficient for producing uniform batches of ingots. We then have a different style of ingot mould, two part wire and sheet moulds. The pros of these are they facilitate the creation of complex and detailed shapes. They are ideal for creating uniform batches of wire, sheet or even jewellery pieces and they offer better control over the final product's dimensions. The cons of two part wire and sheet moulds are they can be more complex to use, especially for novices. They require meticulous alignment to avoid flashing and defects and they can be more time consuming due to the setup and preparation involved. We then can discuss ingot mould sizes. Choosing the right size for your ingot mould depends largely on the scope of your project. For intricate detail pieces, smaller moulds would be ideal, allowing for finer control over the details. On the other hand, larger moulds would be more suited for bulk production, offering efficiency and uniformity. The considerations for choosing the right size are the volume of metal you intend to cast, the intricacy of the jewellery designs, and the setup and capacity of your working space. So considerations for selecting ingot moulds, size, material and efficiency. Selecting the appropriate ingot mould is a critical decision in the jewellery making process. It necessitates careful consideration of various factors including the size of the mould, the material it's made from and its efficiency in terms of heat retention and ease of use. We've made this detailed guide on the essential considerations when choosing ingot moulds aiming to assist artists in making informed choices that contribute to a smoother, more efficient jewellery making process. So whether you're working on a small scale or a large melt, having the right ingot mould can make a significant difference. So we bring you our valuable insights from the seasoned experts at Robertson Co offering recommendations for selecting the best moulds for different scales of operation. Drawing from years of experience and expertise, we present this curated list of suggestions that can aid both novices and experienced artists in achieving optimal results, irrespective of the size of the melt. So, small melts for precision and detail. When working with smaller melts, it's imperative to focus on precision and detail. Here, the choice of ingot mould can directly influence the quality of the final product. From our journey, we would recommend opting for graphite moulds, particularly for intricate designs, as they offer finer grain structure, ensuring smoother finishes. The pros of these are better detailing, allowing for more detailed and intricate designs, uniform cooling, which promotes a more uniform ingot, 
preventing defects like hot tears and the ease of use. Graphite molds are easier to handle and set up, offering more user-friendly experiences. The cons of graphite molds are the cost. They can be slightly less expensive initially, but prove less cost effective in the long term due to their durability. And then the other con is their durability. They degrade a little with each use and require careful handling to prevent wear and tear. So when scaling up to larger melts, efficiency and durability become the primary concerns. Cast iron and machine steel molds have proven to be dependable choices in such scenarios. Their ability to withstand high temperatures without deforming is a notable advantage. The other pros are durability. These molds are known for their long lasting nature and able to withstand repeated uses without degrading. They are perfect for high volume production. They are suitable for high volume production due to their robustness and cost effectiveness. Over time these molds prove to be cost effective options given their lifespans. The cons of these molds however are weight. These molds can be quite heavy requiring proper handling and storage and less intricate detail. They might not be the best choice for extremely detailed and intricate designs of ingot. So the top tips from Robertson Co are material knowledge. Understanding the properties of different materials can guide you in choosing the most suitable ingot mold and preheating. Ensure the molds are preheated properly to avoid serious safety issues and quality issues like shrinkage and porosity. Finally, skilled handling. Developing skills in the safe and correct handling of different molds can significantly enhance the quality of the output. We hope that these insights gleaned from our extensive experience at Roberts Co can guide you in making informed decisions in your jewellery making endeavours. Remember, the right mould can not only save you time and effort, but can significantly uplift the quality of your creations. As we delve deeper, we stumbled upon a revelation that dramatically shifted our approach to jewellery making. Initially, we suspected that the issues of cracking and porosity were stemming from the melting and pouring processes. However, as we evolved, we recognised that the key to overcoming these challenges lay elsewhere in the peening process. The industry is fraught with advice of skipping the peening process, often considered as an expendable step, yet our experience painted a different story. It became increasingly clear that peening was not the villain of the piece, but the unsung hero. By reintegrating this process into our jewellery making, we managed to significantly reduce the issues of cracking and porosity, achieving a level of perfection that was previously elusive. As we journey through the nuances of jewellery making, it becomes increasingly clear that striking the right balance between tradition and innovation is crucial. While respecting the age-old techniques and traditions, embracing the innovative methods and materials of the modern era can pave the way for unprecedented creations. So as we reflect on this delicate balance and speculate on the evolving dynamics of jewellery making, we draw a promising picture of the future prospects that lie ahead. In the world of jewellery making, there exists a fine line between holding on to the revered traditions and adapting to the evolving innovative techniques. This balance is quintessential in crafting pieces that not only tell a story but also embody a blend of the old and new. So we will explore the intricacies involved in maintaining this balance, fostering a craft that respects its roots while also welcomes the new waves of innovation with open arms. The future of jewellery making holds a canvas of endless possibilities. As we stand at the crossroads of tradition and innovation, the industry is poised for a transformative journey. As we delve into the potential future dynamics of jewellery making where modern techniques, materials and technologies play a pivotal role, embracing these changes can potentially lead to a renaissance in the craft, ushering in an era where tradition meets innovation in the most harmonious way. As we draw this insightful voyage to a close, reflecting on our extensive journey of innovation and exploration in the domain of jewellery making, we hold a unanimous positive verdict on graphite ingot moulds. These moulds have indeed revolutionised our approach, infusing efficiency, detail and finesse into our creations. At Robertson Co, our experiences have taught us that the journey towards perfection is a blend of embracing the new while revering the proven old. Graphite ingot moulds have been nothing short of a revelation, carving a niche with their precision and ease of use. They have played a quintessential role in elevating the standards of craftsmanship, something that we vouch for vehemently.
Yet amidst this endorsement, we find it crucial to emphasise an equally important facet of the process, the peening process. Our journey wasn't without its bumps and hurdles. We stumbled, faced frustrations, especially when our attempts were marred by porosity and cracking. Through trials and errors, we realised that skipping the peening process was a misstep that cost us dearly. Hence, as we advocate the promising prospects that graphite ingot moulds present, we also strongly recommend fellow jewellers not overlook the significance of the peening process. It's not merely a step in the jewellery making procedure, but a guardian against potential frustrations of cracking and porosity. As we forge ahead, we encourage you all to explore the remarkable potentials that lie within graphite ingot moulds, but with a word of caution to not bypass the peening process. It's a pivotal step that stands between a craftsman and a masterpiece, a lesson that we learned through persistence and passion. We at Robertson Co. stand testament to the wonders that a meticulous approach to jewellery making can unfold. So we encourage all artists, beginners and veterans alike to not just experiment further with graphite moulds, but to embrace the entire process holistically, ensuring each step is executed with precision and care to save them from the frustrations we once faced. And with this we sign off hoping to usher in an era where artistry meets perfection through the amalgamation of tradition and innovation for a future that shines as bright as the jewels we craft. And that wraps up another episode of the Robertson Co. Jewelry Journal and it's been an absolute pleasure guiding you through the sparkling narrative of our precious pieces. Don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any future episodes where we continue to delve deeper into the enchanting world of jewellery. And if you wish to explore our collections or learn more about us, please visit our official Robertson Co. website. And remember, every piece of jewellery tells a story and we can't wait to be a part of yours. So until next time, keep shining and we hope to see you again soon.